welcome back everyone so for today's video i'm going to make banana fritters with sauteed ackee and mushroom to make the banana fritters you will need ripe bananas now the riper the better you will also need some all-purpose flour grated nutmeg ground cinnamon salt vanilla extract and brown sugar After mashing the bananas, you want to add the brown sugar followed by the spices. After you have added the flour, you want to gradually add some water and mix until you form like a semi-thick consistency, which you will see in the next few clips. The full list of ingredients and measurements will be listed in the description, so make sure you check that out. Once you're done mixing, you should get a consistency like this. So go ahead and add some oil to your pot. Once that is hot, you want to add some decent spoonfuls of this butter. You will know when these are ready to flip when the edges change color, as you can tell right here. These should only take two to three minutes on each side. Once done, remove these and place in a paper towel to drain the excess oil. Now you want to repeat the same process for the remaining butter. These banana fritters were so delicious. I know some people discard their overripe bananas, but you can make this recipe instead, make banana breads, or just freeze the bananas to make a nice cream. The banana fritters are all done, so now it's time to move on to the sauteed aki and mushroom. So here I have all the ingredients and I'm going to use the canned ackee and the canned mushroom. Now you can always choose to use the fresh ackee and mushroom if you have it. So these are the seasonings that I'm going to use. I'm going to use some Cajun seasoning, grown turmeric, all-purpose seasoning and garlic powder. I'm also going to add some fresh seasonings and veggies as well. So right here I have bell peppers, carrot, thyme, scallion, onion, garlic and tomato. 
I'm missing the scotch bonnet pepper, but that's all right. I don't have any on hand, but if you have scotch bonnet pepper, you can go ahead and use a piece. After cutting up the vegetables, you want to start by sautéing the onion and the garlic. You want to allow this to sauté for about a minute or two before adding the other vegetables. After about 2 minutes of sautéing the onion and the garlic, you want to go ahead now and add the bell peppers, carrot and tomato. And you also want to allow these to sauté for about 3 minutes or until the carrots are somewhat tender. At this point, I'm going to add some ground turmeric as well as some all-purpose seasoning. Once the carrots are somewhat tender, you can go ahead and add the mushrooms. Allow the mushrooms to saute for about 2 minutes before adding the aki. And let me tell you, this is looking lovely already and it smells amazing. After about 2 minutes of sautéing the mushrooms, add the aki. Be very gentle when you're stirring because you don't want the aki to mash out. So you just want to fold in the aki into the other vegetables. At this point, you can season this to your liking by adding some more all-purpose seasoning. I also added some more of the Cajun seasoning. So give this another light stir and cover your pot and give this roughly 5 minutes to cook down some more. And then after that, sauteed aki and mushroom up and ready to eat. And this is my final plating. I also made some cabbage to go with it. I will put a link for that recipe. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bless up.